I forgot to mention it in my first AI guide, but almost all of the AI shenanigans showed him that video wouldn't work the same in double battles, as the doubles AI is in another league of its own. See it for yourself. Doubles AI definitely deserves a video of its own. But in today's video, I'm gonna be focusing on the AI switch or more specifically what will the AI bring next after they lose a mon, and also before they lose a mon. Now that you've seen the switch in list, forget about it, cause we'll be doing a summarized version of the list so that it becomes much easier, for everyone to understand, and to make easy use of it. Before we do the summarized version, I'll first tell you about the meanings of revenge kill in Radical Red. What revenge kill means in this game is not only a revenge kill, but it also means that the AI Moan can get an offensive boost from killing you, aka, Moxie, Soul Heart, Grimne, etc. Not only that, revenge kill can also mean that the AI Moan has an ability that can entrap you, aka, Magnet Pull, Shadow Tag, etc. Lastly, revenge kill means that the AI Moan can kill you with a priority move, or Pursuit or Fell Stinger. Okay, now let's start. You have to look at the list as an addition of different modifiers for the switch and score, so, if AI Moan can kill, that's a switch and score of plus 4. If AI Moan can resist all your moves, that's also a switch and score of plus 4. If AI Moan can revenge kill, that's a switch and score of plus 2. All of them makes the highest score of plus 10. If AI Moan has a super effective move on player's moan, that's a switch and score of plus 1. This will only count if the super effective move is not an OKO move. However, if the AI Moan is weak to one of your moves, that's a switch and score of minus 1. I'll give you a few seconds to process all this information, or you could just take a screenshot of the list. Now, with this summarized version of the switch and list, you should be able to tell me what will the gym leader Misty do next, after losing Greninja. I'll give you a few seconds, or you can just pause the video so that you can comment down below your prediction. If you got it right, then congratulations. You now know more on how you can abuse the AI. If you didn't get it right, don't worry, I'll give you another chance. But first, let's talk about what just happened. Since you're observant, you most likely notice that all four moves of Sceptile are resisted by Jirachi, so Jirachi gets a switch in score of plus four. But, if it was only three moves of Sceptile that were resisted by Jirachi, Jirachi would have gotten a switch in score of zero. It's either resists all four of player's moves or nothing. Kingdra has a super effective move on Sceptile, Dragon Pulse does not OKO Sceptile so, Kingdra gets a score of plus one. But, Sceptile also has a super effective move on Kingdra, so minus 1, Kingdra ends up with a score of 0. We have two super effective moves on Seismitoad. So, the Toad gets a score of minus 1. It's minus 1 regardless of how many moves are super effective. Thunderous only resists two of our moves, so the Legendary Moan gets a score of 0. Just theoretically, let's say that Gyarados has a score of plus 4. If Gyarados did have a score of plus 4, the AI would bring Jirachi next as the team order decides, the next Moan of the AI. But yes, Gyarados has nothing on Sceptile so the Newslock Demon gets a score of 0. Another important tip, the AI doesn't consider Mega Evolution, new typings and new abilities, until it actually has Mega Evolved. Here's your another chance, I believe in you. I'll give you a few seconds again, or just pause the video to comment down below your prediction. If you got this right, I'm pretty proud of you. If you didn't, it's fine I didn't get it that fast as well anyways. Every moan of Misty can kill me here, as I have like 25% HP left. So they all get a score of plus 4. The legendary moan gets a minus 1 as Ice Punch's super effective move on Thunderous. So why did the AI go for Thunderous? Well, it's because of choice items. Being choice locked basically ignores all of the switch and list. And since I was choice locked into Earthquake, 
The AI would go for the best possible moan for earthquake, meaning an AI moan that can resist or immune to earthquake, and also can actually kill the choice locked mon. If Gyarados and Thunderous weren't able to kill the choice locked mon, the AI would be reusing the switch and list. This is why I said that I was pretty proud if you got it correctly, as you didn't let yourself be tunnel visioned into the switch and list, you thought outside of the box. Good on you if you got it correctly. Also, this choice locked AI shenanigan alone can be obviously abused. For example, you can force the AI to get the best moan possible for your choice locked move, but it's actually good for you, as you can just have a moan in your team that's either immune, or a wall that can set up, or a check to that AI mod. It's really just how you apply the AI switch mechanics, to your advantage. Enough with my Misty rematch video, my friend Plates here did some AI testing, and this is your last chance if you weren't able to get a single prediction right. This should be easy if you were really attentive from beginning to now. Good luck! Comment your prediction down below. What you've just seen is a nice example, of how you can abuse this AI switch mechanics. Calyrex kills us with draining kiss so that's a score of plus 4. Not only that, the legendary moan has got, as one as an ability, that is a revenge kill and so the horse gets another plus 2. Urshifu has wicked blow, that's a super effective move on Calyrex so that's minus 1. Mewtwo has a super effective move on Urshifu, Draining Punch does not OKO OK Urshifu so Mewtwo gets a score of plus 1, but, Urshifu also has a super effective move on Mewtwo, so minus 1, Mewtwo ends up with a score of 0. Like I said, the AI doesn't consider Mega Evolution new typings and new abilities, until it actually has Mega Evolved. Zarud gets a minus 1, as Urshifu has a super effective move on the Rudmon. But, Zarud then gets plus 1 for having a super effective move on Urshifu. The Rudmon ends up with a score of 0. Eveltal kills Urshifu with Oblivion Wing, so the bird gets a score of plus 4. Victini has an SE move on Urshifu, Focus Blast doesn't kill Urshifu so that's a score of plus 1, but, Urshifu also has an SE move on Victini, so minus 1. The legendary bunny ends up with a score of 0. Around 7 minutes ago, I said that the video will cover the AI switches before it even loses a mod. So let's focus on that now. For us it here, resists all of our moves so that's a score of plus 4. And important tip, the AI does not count the status moves typings, it'll only count the typings of damaging moves. Not only that, the AI has a super effective move on Lantern, so plus 1. The AI wouldn't have switched here if Mantine was faster than Lantern. The AI would have preferred to deal some damage and then die. But if it's a speed tie or your moan is faster than the target and you can kill the target, the AI will most likely switch. Obviously, the AI has to have a moan that can either resist or kill your mon. Watch this, it'll do it again. As usual, Mantine here resists all of our moves so that's a score of plus 4. Not only that, the AI sees the kill on Numel with Scald, so plus 4 again. Also I forgot to add it, but when I say resists, that also includes immunity. If you want to see the full video for Misty Battle, the link is in the description. Here's another AI shenanigan that you can abuse, I've actually been using this strat way back then in version 2.2. 
So basically, if you can kill the AI moan with a fire type move, the AI will always switch to the moan that has an immunity to that fire type move, aka flash fire. It works the same obviously for the other abilities like storm drain, sap sipper, etc. This one is pretty rare, as you actually need the AI to do less than 33% damage to your mon, and you also need to outheal the AI's damage with a recovery move. Lastly, the AI must have a moan with a switch and score that's higher than 4. I think you understand now what that means after all the AI quizzes. My friend Plates here, the ultimate AI abuser out there has compiled all of the AI switch mechanics to formulate this strat for the champion. I'm not looking to make this video super long, and obviously there are more AI switch mechanics to be abused, also I don't think I have every shenanigans covered so I'll see you soon in part 3. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you were able to learn something from the past 12 minutes.